sun. Why do people dance in the sun? Why do people fart? Oh, this is good. Why? Why do people kiss? Why do people cut down trees? Why? 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 Anna, do you know why? No, you don't know. Okay, let me check that here. Let me check in the book. No, no, the books, because Luke O'Neill not only wrote one, but two amazing books, which I just love and recommend to anyone. These books not only made me laugh about <laughs> facts and science, but they made me really curious and interested in reading scientific discoveries, learning more about how things work and why they are the way they are. Humanology, our amazing existence, and never mind the, hmm, here is the science. By the way, why is this word bad? Why do we have to censor it here? Bullocks. I just checked, I read about it, I had to Google it because I didn't know the expression and I still don't understand why is it bad. So if you know that, let me know in a comment below. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Peter and as always, we want to learn something new, get motivated and celebrate good news and positive outcomes. And is there something interesting and positive happening in your life? Yes, let me know in a comment. Let's celebrate that together. So, how did I came across these amazing books? Well, it was rather a coincidence because 2020, my family and I, we planned a long road trip, more than five hours one way. And I just recently installed on my phone a new app from our local library where you can download and listen to audiobooks or read ebooks. And we thought what could be better then to listen to a book on our road trip. And by coincidence, just browsing, I came across Humanology, our amazing existence. And we thought, well, let's have a listen to it rather than listening to music. And of course, music has its place on our road trips. <laughs> but books too, and we just got hooked. I tell you, not only Luke O'Neill's words, but the narrator voice with his thick Irish accent oh, just did it to me and Anna, we fell in love with him. And please, please make an audiobook out of this one too. Only the first one is available as audiobook. I will totally listen to both of them as often as I can. After that trip, we bought the first one and last year, as soon as this second one came out, Anna, my wife, bought it for me as a Christmas present. Such a nice present. I thoroughly enjoyed reading and laughing this second book. I believe with these two books, you have a great foundation. Anything about human existence, about scientific discoveries, about current discussions like vaccine, like climate change and garbage in the ocean, like gene manipulation and so much more information about all those questions you might have, you need to form an opinion about, you need to have an answer. You know, things you, you always talk about with your friends, with your family members, with your co-workers, things you hear on the news, and these books just give you some more insight, a little more detail. And you know what? They are amazingly funny, understandable and just have absolutely great information. They not only answer the question of why things are, they are or how they work, but they really spark curiosity. And I think that's great about them. They make you want to read more, understand more, know more and discuss with other people what you just learned. 
I have all the time the experience when I start to read a chapter that I ask everyone in the room, everyone in my house, can I tell you something amazing I just read today? Listen, listen to it, listen to it. You need to hear that. Even my kids were fascinated to hear how a sperm fertilizes an egg with a key. A key called Izumo, named after Japanese shrine of marriage, with inserts into Juno, named after the Roman goddess of fertility and marriage, it can then gain access and release its DNA to merge with the DNA in the egg. The magical moment of fertilization. That's right. Fascinating. This first book, Human Knowledge, Our Amazing Existence, gives you a great overview and introduction into all kinds of questions from biology, nature, the Big Bang, evolution, and everything that's amazing about our existence, fertility, I mentioned already, but also science, technology, and things to come have their place inside. Why we listen to music? Or why do we laugh? That was a great chapter. I highly recommend it. A chapter in which I learned the world's most funniest joke. You want to hear it? Of course you want to hear the most, world's most funniest joke ever told. This term was used by Richard Wiseman of the University of Hertfordshire in 2002 to summarize the results of his research. The winning joke, which was later found to be based on a 1951 goon sketch. So here it is. Two friends on a hunting trip. Suddenly one of them collapses, does not move anymore. His skin turns blue. He looks like that. His friend panicked, calls the emergency and directly asks, please help, please help, I think my friend died. And the voice on the other side says, oh, don't worry, sir, I am here to help. Listen to what I'm saying and we will get you through this. First, make sure your friend is dead. Silence follows, then a gunshot, then back on the phone. He's dead now. What's next? Yeah, the world's most funniest joke. Never mind the, you know what? takes a different approach. It's like a collection of answers for frequently asked questions. Questions we encounter every day with colleagues, with friends, with family members. Many questions we encounter, we hear, we talk about things we should know why or how they work and have an informed opinion about. These two books are simply amazing because they not only great and easy to read, but they really give you a great insight into the current scientific discussions. That would certainly help some of us conspiracy theorists, some of us amateur specialists to have some great informed opinions. Who is Luke O'Neill? He is a world-renowned immunologist at the University of Biochemistry in Dublin. 2016, he was made a Fellow of the Royal Society for his innovative work on the human immune system. Many more. He has also a podcast and you can find information below in our description or of course by googling Luke O'Neill. Let me close with this question. What makes a book great? What's for you a great book? It has a great story. It's easy to read, but it expands your horizon in a surprising way. You always want to come back to that book and read again. I think all those things these books achieve, they spark curiosity, they make you want to have another look at them, take them out of your library and read them again, thinking, I know that, I read it, what, what, I can't remember, let's check it out. And the historical fact of the day from humanology, because an hilarious chapter is the one about death. Now I remember on this channel, I have a motor connected to this, which is 
and we talk about anything and everything from birth to death and in between what is called life that amazingly short period of time we need to make the most out of it and death is part of it death is part of everyone's life sometimes sooner or later because of relatives or friends or because of our own death which comes sometimes as a thought you know we go through an accident something unexpected happens and we realize actually that could have been the day i had such days in my life when it could have been the day but it wasn't when the grim reaper showed up Look O'Neill invites you in that chapter to have a good look at your calendar. Take out your phone, perhaps you did in this video afterwards. Take out your phone, have a good look at your calendar, scroll to the dates in future. Maybe next month, maybe next year, maybe in 20 years. One of those days you will die because everyone will die sooner or later. And the question is, what did you do how did you live until then of one thing you don't have to be scared of which is be buried alive because our technology today will make sure before we bury you we know exactly if you are dead or not but that wasn't always the case and the chapter describes that such a scary situation imagine that some cemeteries had coffins with a bell just to make sure just to make sure that no one is buried alive because sadly that happened having a bell you can make people aware maybe they get you out on time that's a historical fact you can check out more about coffin bells in uh, the description below that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I highly recommend these two books. I will talk about them in different videos on different topics which they have information about. I oftentimes refer to them. Until then, I wish you all the best. Good to see you. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. That's important. And, and hope to see you next time. Hopefully that's not a date you just picked in your calendar. Bye.